Okay, everyone, it is me. Actually, it should be all right, everyone. I think, I think that's what I normally say, but uh, just a little. I mean, I got a better night's sleep last night, and yeah, I uh, avoided eating uh, the cookies. Instead, I had the jalapeno uh, potato chips. Much better. It's also more satisfying, I guess, because it's so spicy. And yeah, you know, I, was, I probably lost a couple hundred calories, you know. I mean, it's like so slow, but I mean, at this point, it's like getting harder and harder to like restrict calories. So, yeah. I mean, I built more muscle, right? Anyway, and that'll come with time. So, anyway, uh, yeah, so I get an all right night's sleep. Uh, you know, played a more, little more Haiti Star. Finally got my farm up and running, so I'm just, you know, uh, you know fine-tuning it now. So, um, supposedly today's a big day, because Trump, after, for whatever reason, they're finally, he's finally going to do something about social media. Uh, censorship. Personally, I think it's just going to be more of the same bullshit he's always done. Um... <clears throat> But, I mean, again, we'll, we'll see, because, you know, and see, it's the same thing. As soon as I unfollow him, then he actually starts doing something. It's like, it's like I'm in tune with what's really going on. The difference is he's never going to get a follow from me. Like, you know, he's going to constantly act like an F word. You know, we're going to just treat him like one, right? It's like, you know, like, I can't believe that the way to success, at least in his worldview, is to just constantly bullshit all the time. And it's really fucking annoying. So I guess maybe someday I'll have to just get out there and you know prove pr prove that you could do it the other way. Uh, and of course, people are still rioting and looting and pillaging in Minneapolis. So um, yeah, so I mean, if Trump's executive order could actually do something, then you know uh, people will actually start talking about what's really going on, which is it's just. You know, this comes down to race, right? I mean, there's a reason why it's usually only one particular, maybe two particular races that always loot and riot and shit, but everyone else just does, does actual protesting, right? So, you know, uh, of course you're not allowed to say that, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And then Andy to go for, like, they're getting pretty pissed at Andy because obviously he's exposing everybody, so that's why they're going after him. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for uh, this week are, are still 14, still kind of low. Uh, good news is crypto seems to be up. Everything's actually up except the NASDAQ because, again, the market's not sure about the executive order. So uh, this is actually a good sign in this case because maybe they're thinking, because they, I'm assuming the people who are trading in the NASDAQ have inside information on the Trump executive order by now. Oh, maybe not. It's actually going up. So maybe it's all bullshit. Uh, yeah, go figure. I mean, we'll have to see what it is, but I don't want to wait. I don't want to do, I don't want to wait for this video to uh, come later, right? So, we'll see. Bitcoin's at, oh wait, hold on, I forgot. Bitcoin down 66.3%, 24 volume still 100 billion. However, uh, everything's going up. It's skyrocketing, and that's what we want. Uh, Bitcoin's at 9,400. That's a pretty nice pattern. Litecoin's 44.34. Not as, it's not up as much, but at least the pattern's starting to look the same. Doggy coin 317.77 uh, seven or 8 million market cap, so very good. Um, let's see, has Hive and Steam finally stabilized? 27.70 cents, Steam 20.68 cents. Yeah, I've actually just been hoarding dog corn, I haven't really converted into Hive power. Um, I don't know, I'm still thinking about what I should do with it because. Basically, high, uh, hives going down or neutral, and dogs going up. So I mean, I'm better off just waiting. Uh, all right. So markets across the board are up, with the exception of the Nasdaq. Uh, so it's definitely uh, whipsawing like crazy. Uh, markets mix amid dismal economic data. Okay. So okay. So it looks like everything's being neutral. All right. So. Facebook's down, Amazon's down, okay, Microsoft's down a little. I mean, Microsoft doesn't actually do, their censorship's actually not nearly as bad. Plus, they've been fucked in the ass before by the federal government, because obviously the Microsoft antitrust case. So Bill Gates knows better than to, you know, you know, mess with Uncle Sam. Uh, you know, Rebel's doing pretty good. Well, it was, and RF was also surprisingly new. It's already back at 12 bucks. That's why I like this bank, it's like, even in like they survived the 2008 2009 real estate crisis and they're a, and they are a bank all right it's like it's like literally owning it's like owning cruise ship stocks right now during coronavirus or owning shares of like ships 
during the Titanic era, era you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then, I don't know, what's the other stock I have? Oh, yeah, Microsoft, yeah. So it looks like uh, top, top diversity, some more stupid shit. Uh, NASDAQ, okay, so they're still keeping this. <coughs> is this the one? Yeah, this is the one. Home buying surges as mortgage rates and home prices plummet. Uh, this was 18 hours ago. I, I'm curious to read this, but this is... Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean, we, I mean, that's, I mean, the demand and supply has always been good. The problem is, is we're just telling everyone to stay home. Jeremy says a quicker was tough to bet on. Blah, blah. Yeah, he's he's been very. No, I like Jim Cramer, but he's very notorious for being very inaccurate. I think it's simply because he's got to analyze shit so fast, and he's got like so much shit to pump out that they're, they're, like it's just he's just naturally going to be inaccurate, right? You know, you put out a thousand predictions. I mean, your chances of being wrong on a, on a prediction is going to go way up, right? On top of that, it's going to be a lot. Expert advice: Do you uh, for alleged price fixing? Uh, this is from two days. That's that's like this is still so old. Stock market news: Live after stock market makes a job decline. GDP downward revision. Stock news: Live after push for stocks as investors shake off China jitters. I mean, I don't know. I mean, like Trump is. Uh, like, does Trump really want to win his re-election bid? That's, like, a question that I actually legitimately have. It's, like, does he actually want to fucking win? Because so far, I'm not impressed. Uh, but, again, we'll just have to see what uh, what this is. You know, we'll have to actually see if the executive order actually does something. Uh, JFC coins at 7 to 8 or 9, I guess. Maybe up to 12. Uh, there's going to be a lot of downward pressure if the majors are going up, so... 404 coin, of course, still one to two because, you know, swap or whatever. Uh, in fact, I got to log into my BTC pop account because I think um, they're actually start they're going to shut down the wallet sooner than correct. So I want to see if they started uh, the swap process. Actually, BTC pop to I mean, they're not even very. Uh, yeah. uh, I think my orientation's not right here. Let me see. There we go. Because it's like straining my right wrist, so it's starting to like hurt a little. Right? And it's because my orientation's not correct. I mean, unfortunately, it means like, yeah. <sighs> you know what? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of always adjusting the camera, but yeah, uh, much better. Uh. We're going to have Samson Exchange that is not support. Okay, new blind. Okay, so they're not really doing much. Um, oh, okay, so wall will be closed at the end of May. Swap will be processed after the 2nd of June. So, yeah, so between now and basically the end of May. Okay. All right, and then blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they don't really use their shit here too much. Um, so, yeah, that's the story of 404, but, you know, it's like, yeah, it's a couple weeks, maybe, maybe a week before we start trading the new 404 coin, but it feels like years because I really need the money. Well, I don't need the money, but it would be really nice to have because, again, I have, like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, you know it's, uh, the bank account's starting to get smaller, you know, so I don't, I don't want to say how much I have, but I got plenty, but, you know, you know I want to start making some money here. Two by two coins going down. Now it's at 64 to 69. Again, it's going to be a lot of downward pressure. Also, I'm not sure when the supply is going to start becoming a problem for two by for two by two, and then eventually it's going to you know start crashing or whatever. So uh, we'll have to see. Actually, we, actually, God. one one shitty thing about this old well now it's called the old wallet based on the compound coin is that the damn thing lags so much. I hate it. Get info. Uh, the money supply says 7.1 million 2x2 two two coins. Yeah. Uh, comp so, yeah, it's still going to be a while, you know, because when we started 404 coin in January of last year, I think that's the date. Actually, what, what's the date that I wrote this? January 13th, 2019. Um, this, the original 404 coin started with 10 million supply cap. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's doing pretty well. Cow Pow coin, um, let's see, 5151 to 5800, So it's actually been very stable. So this is pretty nice. This thing, so compound coin is actually producing true income, or is that's what I'm going to call it. Like it's actually stable. Uh, and it's pretty impressive because it's only a 24 hour wait time. 
and it's 250% APR. Uh, you know, so it's actually going to be less than 250 because the difficulty is so extreme. So, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Uh, nothing new here. Just now buying 1.5 times the amount of Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Grayscale is going to be gobbling up all the Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Susie, you just cannot trade gold against Bitcoin. Oh, that's hilarious. That's actually good. You know, the more markets, the better. Plus, it'd be a good way for boomers to, you know, bet against Bitcoin since they hate it so much. Though they're kind of somewhat turning around. But then the ones that still think Bitcoin's stupid will just lose all their money in Bitcoin. So, works for me. After Bitcoin visits 8,600, crypto trade, blah, 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 blah. Samsung doubles down Bitcoin crypto. Um, Samsung's blockchain will add support for users of US Mega Crypto Exchange, Gemini, in North America. Wow, the Winkle Boss twins must be fucking um, very happy. They got a partnership with Samsung. I'm not going to read it, but this is very good. For, I mean, we all, all we need is just the headline. This is very good for a fundamental adoption. It's been a while since I've talked about that. Mostly because I'm just not interested. But, you know, it's good that... But things are happening. That's all that matters. 100 million, okay. Uh, downward trend, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's... Oh, wait, Central Bank. Uh, Bitcoin get a boost from Central Bank. Oh, okay. And it's just sounds like speculation. Okay, so that's old. Um, let me refresh this one more time. I also need to drink my water. Ah! Hopefully this new posture will uh, work. I mean, the reason why it's hurting is because I've been sitting in that chair a lot. So, it's like this. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think I've just been locking it too much, so I have to like lean forward and so like my arm, but then I also have to make sure I straighten up my back too. So as I lean forward, it's basically like, like that's the nice thing about the exercise I do is it naturally trains my lower back to be straight. Because obviously if it's not straight or natural, it's going to like hurt my lower back when I lift weights and it's obviously very bad if that happens. Coinbase doubles down on institutional target with latest acquisition, launches new crypto trader. Okay, I do want to know what they've acquired. I want to skim it though. Yeah, okay. I'm curious to see if the executive order actually does something. I'm curious to see if uh, these betting odds will change. Yeah, so far it's still 50 50. Crypto trades, huge trend. No, serial crypto and behind one million. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin billionaires blast Golden Sachs after financial giants as crypto and viable investment. Uh, what? I do like this thumbnail. We're going to use this as a thumbnail. Okay. Watch it live, and this is from yesterday. Yeah, I was so excited about. I mean, I never I used to never give a shit about shuttle launches, but now I kind of do. Maybe it's because I'm just simply older, right? Plus, I maybe maybe it's also because I just like Elon Musk. But yeah, I'm actually thinking. It, right now, it's not that uh, big of a deal, but later in the future, right? Especially when humanity becomes obsolete because of AI, automation, artificial intelligence, and robotics, and all that other shit. Um, humans will just have nothing to do except colonize space and play video games all day or watch watch movies. That's why I'm making an entertainment company because that's the only thing that is not going to be obsolete. You know, I'm not really into space exploration. In fact, it would scare the shit out of me. Right? You know, I was I watched a documentary about like the you know space shuttle program of America. It's like, oh yeah, we discontinued it, and I was like, oh yeah, so we so, so yeah, we lost Challenger and we lost. Columbia, I think, right? Those two shuttles. So, uh, yeah. But, you know, luckily, uh, you know, but the point is Elon Musk, Blue Origin from Amazon, from Jeff Bezos, you know, all in, I guess, Virgin Atlantic. You know, they're eventually going to pioneer, like, the future generation of space exploration and colonization. Once we actually get to colonization, that's when you actually want to get invested, or at least invest before that point. It's going to take a long time, though, but it'll be worth it, because basically it's like buying real estate in, like, an a developing market, right? That's that's essentially what it is. So it's it's pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty what's going to happen. Uh, I mean, right now, space Tesla stock or SpaceX is like what eight hundred bucks or whatever. So it's it's still really expensive. Uh, but it's going to be cheap compared to when we actually start colonizing space. All right. So did you do the executive order yet? No, just more bullshit. Oh, here we go. Four minutes. Uh, okay. Well, all right, fine. All right, whatever. 
All right, so everything's looking good. New York City's on track to be six of seven, so we're definitely gonna be reopening very soon, especially since it's hot and humid. Flu viruses don't do very well during warm weather. That's why things are breaking out now in Brazil when before it didn't, because it was summer slash fall, now it's becoming winter in Brazil. So, you know, not surprisingly, coronavirus is going berserk down there while it's receding here. Uh, the, the latest Agri launches new crypto trading features. Coinbase leading uh, DDD and also on Wednesday intention to to go make crypto private brokerage form. To go make coin have it. Okay, so all right, this is basically nothing. We're gonna keep that. All right, so Nasdaq on report Trump executive order. We're gonna refresh this one more time. See what the markets are because this thing was going way up. Now it's way down. Okay. So if I had to guess, crypto slightly up, market equity markets down. Uh, okay, all right. Let's just think about the thumbnail or title for the YouTube video. Nasdaq 100 features fell. This Trump is going to penalize or threaten to penalize Facebook, Google, and Twitter for the way they monitor content on their sites, contracts for delivery, June, blah 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 blah. You know, actually, <coughs> well, Chamberlain, Twitter. Uh, he might actually have something here. Twitter hijacked the feed ready to push the topa. It's effectively a pendant and editor's note to his tweet. If they treat the leader of free will, I Hollywood treat a normal conservative. Versus if you're on the right against injustice, you should be arrested and thrown in prison. Uh, if you're one of the nine, blah, blah, blah. Michelle Malkin correctly called him out for, yeah. See, this is, this is why fake conservatives are so fucking annoying. Lying efforts. Uh, she really. That thing makes her look really fat. Uh, I gotta remind the writer out there, Darren Potter, going to increase the length of lockdowns. So I'm supposed to make up the. Here covered out like one of those selfish threat to public, not even close to all the reaction on looters around the Mercer. Whether reports agree with this, blah, blah, blah. She's actually a pretty good reporter. Um, yeah. Actually, where does she work for now? Spectator US. Uh, Ah, oh, yeah, she's still working at the Daily Caller. Kind of being the jump of making civil rights for years is to do. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any condemned the murder of George Floyd. We're actually trying to act like it was a murder. I can't imagine anyone supporting this. And Antifa riders in Minnesota tonight. Meter Bros. You need Antifa to grow. Okay, we need to prove Antifa are going to fuck up and turn burning and kill people. I don't know, he's a, uh, I don't know to retweet this, but I don't believe it's Antifa. Like, we've seen the videos, it's a bunch of angry racist black people who are fucking pissed at basically white people. It's like, that's not fucking Antifa. I'm sure there are some in there, but I mean, you know, it's like, this is a reason why I had to get away from the new right, and you know, I mean, I still like Mike Cernovich, but... Again, he's going to have a significantly huge problem when Nick Fuentes... Here, I'll show you. All right. So that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, why? Yeah, these searches are just like uh, Nick. There we go. Well, at least they're not censoring his search term here. All right, compare what we saw there with what we see here. All right. You know, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to risk getting banned or whatever. But yeah, this is basically all angry black people like looting. I believe it's Target, right? You know, and I like Target. I go there all the time. Like, we only have a few here in New York City, but it's like, hey, it's feeding me, and it's got good food, and the food is actually naturally, there's like, there's practically, there's, there are no chemicals. It's just like you normally, it's like real, it's, I'm eating real food, and I can tell that there's a difference. Uh, when all, okay, I don't want to avoid reading that, but you can pause it, you can read this. Uh, it turns out you can't stay, because if the people in that car are returning from looting, shooting, killing, and trying to police, uh, they, I think there was a slight little uh, grammar, because I don't know what he means by that, but I, I think he meant and destroying police and national guardsmen or something. These people blame their power on racist lending crack from banks, and the next day go out and blow up an ATM and loot it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, let's see if we can get Scott Pressler out there as her perfect art to keep America great. Scott Pressler. I know that name. But obviously, he, Jaden McNeil is mocking him. Oh, yeah, the uh, the persistence guy. Yeah, I thought Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like this is, it's like, it's so, it's obvious to a lot of people. People watch the show and still not get it. That's true. Why did I? 
they'll try uh, other than painfully obvious truth. Yeah, we're just gonna retweet this. Fuck them all. Uh, it's science. If Trump, like, cause, cause this is, like, seriously, like, how many times have we seen this shit? It's like, you know. Uh, then there's just more. All right, and then here's that. Uh, the Minneapolis Tar is getting a sharp part by part. Whole store has been ransacked. Uh, I don't think there's any violence here. This is literally the craziest stuff I've ever seen right now. This is Tar. Wait, 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 wait. Secure. Wait, so even the security guards for Target are looting shit? The craziest stuff I've ever seen right now. This is Target right now. Wow, this guy is brave. He's a white dude filming uh, black people doing this shit. Like, I wouldn't be scared to do that because usually, you know, people are like, hey, turn off that camera. And they beat the shit out of you because obviously they don't like it when you're recording them in an actual crime. <laughs> I personally find this hilarious. I mean, obviously he feels safe. I mean, look, he's, he's laughing. <laughs> um, you know what? Uh, this might actually be a really good thumbnail. I'm actually going to put this over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Because I don't, I can't put a black, I can't put the black person's picture. I'm definitely going to, like, the video is definitely going to get flagged. Well, I'll put this here just to be safe. But I have to figure out. You know, actually, I probably won't even mention the word riots in the title. I'm just going to play it safe. But, uh, yeah. All right, so forget about this thumbnail. We're, we're going to go with this one. All right, uh, one last refresh, and we'll call it. Yeah, it's actually a pretty short video. Yeah, no, no executive order yet. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Uh, it says zero views, but it actually says two views and one comment with one like. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with YouTube, but whatever. Anyway, done for the day. Uh, I want to get back to playing my games, you know, do other stuff, uh, relax. It's starting to get humid, so it's just like, uh I also don't like what's happening. Like, there was a video of uh, a bunch of Staten Islanders, which tend to be more conservative, screaming at somebody for not having a mask on, and that really rubbed me the wrong way, you know? So it's like... You know, conservative, like... Uh, it's like... I saw in Rouge V's timeline, but it's like... Come on, what's uh, what's wrong with you? Now, you could say, well, maybe there are liberals. That is true. There are liberals living in Staten Island. Um, but everybody involved are angry, fat, white women, so... I don't know, you can make what you will of that. But, uh, yeah, this mask thing, this social distancing thing, I mean, there's an upside, right? I don't have to worry about getting sick from other people. Because I get sick usually from other people when I go out. Because people obviously don't fucking take care of themselves. But now we're, we're kind of going the other extreme. It's like, you know, we don't have your mask, we're going to beat the shit out of you, you know? It's like, all right, man. It's like, can you, like, chill the fuck out, man. So, I don't know, but... Uh... I mean, there's going to be a lot of chaos, like, and I did the video pretty early today, so we're just going to have to see, right? You know, the riots will die down. People will, of course... I think more and more people... I mean, I think I'll slightly disagree with Nick Fuentes on this one, where, um, like, people will not get it. I think more people will get it, because they're like, okay, what the hell's going on here, right? Of course, most people will still go with the, yeah, racism, impoverishment, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, there's... I mean, that's part of it. I think part of that is true, too, but... So the other races and shit too. You don't see us fucking burning shit down. So, uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, if we, if we go, like, this is why. Like, do they look like Antifa to you? No, these are just assholes. Like the fucking security guard. I don't know if he's a security guard for Target, but he's like, it's like, yeah, fuck this shit. Yeah. Uh, all right, there we go. All right, back to the thumbnail. I can't, I can't show the black person as a thumbnail because, you know, you, you know what's going to happen to my channel. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, stay safe. Uh, if you happen... Well, first, we should leave Minneapolis because that place just seems to be like a disaster. Um, <clears throat> of course, at some point, you won't be able to leave, right? Because, you know, everywhere will become a disaster. So, we're going to have to stand and fight at some point. 
Uh, with that being said, you know, George, I mean, I think a lot of precaution, I think everything's being done correct with the George Floyd situation. Like, they're, like, yeah, it was a murder, essentially. You know, we have everything on video, so there's no doubt. So they're, the cops are probably going to be charged, right? That's why they got fired immediately. Because um, even the guy that shot the Australian guy, Mohammed Noor, whatever, the white Australian lady was actually pretty decent looking. Wanted to report a sex assault, and then she wanted to get the attention of the cops, so she tapped on the uh, car, and then Mohammed just like blew her away, literally. Right, and they made the police report sound like she was banging a lot with a hammer. They they obviously exaggerated. It's like, yeah, that's bullshit. So uh, even in that case, it took a while to pers uh, not persecute but prosecute him. Nowadays, it should be a lot faster, right? Because it's been a while since then. I'm sure. Uh, the Democrats, apparently Democrats are in control, of course. Uh, so, yeah, they probably pass new laws and shit. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And again, the investing video is going to come this Saturday. So, yeah, I still haven't even bothered to write the Google spreadsheet. It's just so annoying. It's like, but, uh, I don't know. I have to figure out, like, what I'm going to, you know, teach the whole thing, but keep it kind of shortish. Yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Make sure, uh, I mean, I don't know if BTC pops while it's open. I'm going to log in maybe to, I mean, all my coins that I want to swap with BTC pop are already there. I'm willing to take the 10% fee. So, um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. 10% is kind of a lot. Maybe I really should uh, move over to Crux. I don't know. But I'm going to I'm gonna take a look today. So, I mean, even though I kind of don't want to, but whatever. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, always remember... Judson Chan, JFC coin, a 404 coin, and uh, we're just going to have to see what happens with this.